how vertical farming works. It's no secret that the future of agriculture is concerning and needs a change. Overall, the population grows at about 1% per year, and even faster in some countries. Feeding this growing population is sure to be a challenge as time progresses. By 2050, the world's population is expected to grow to 9.7 billion people, and feeding it will be a huge challenge. One due to industrial development and urbanization, we are losing arable lands every day. In 2015, scientists reported that the Earth had lost a third of its arable lands over the previous 40 years. We don't know how much more we are going to lose in the next 40 years. Increasing food demand due to a growing population and ever-decreasing arable lands poses one of the most significant challenges facing us. Good day! Many of you believe that vertical farming can be the answer to the present challenges of agriculture. But do you think that vertical farming is the future of agriculture? Let's find out. What is vertical farming? Vertical farming is exactly what it sounds like. Farming on vertical surfaces rather than traditional, horizontal agriculture. By using vertically stacked layers, farmers can produce more food on the same amount of land. Often these layers are integrated into buildings such as skyscrapers, housed in warehouses or shipping containers, greenhouses, like ours, or otherwise placed in spaces that would otherwise be unfit for farming. Yet vertical farming is so much more than just sacking plants and hoping for the best. The practice requires artificial control of temperature, light, and humidity to succeed. If a delicate balance is not maintained, it's possible to lose an entire crop the way a traditional might in the event of a drought or flood. How Vertical Farming Works Yes, it seems vertical farming may be the answer to many of agriculture's challenges, providing us with more food on less land and doing so in a sustainable way. But how does vertical farming work, exactly? Several models are available, from patio gardens built into old pallets to warehouses and greenhouses that produce food for entire communities. Here are the details on how Eden Green Technologies Vertical Farming Greenhouses work. With our vertical farming technology, crops are cultivated in stacked plant cups within tower-like structures. These towers are hydroponic systems designed to produce the perfect microclimate and allow farmers to grow the crops they choose year-round. Our vertical hydroponics are intended to provide yields access to natural sunlight, so they grow with less waste of land, water, and energy. And our state-of-the-art sustainable system allows you to control all aspects of your farm. This includes production tools that will help you optimize crop cycles and produce plenty of yields to meet your needs. Benefits of Vertical Farming The benefits of vertical farming are many and varied, but it's clear that this model provides maximum output with minimal environmental impact and far less space required. With resources at a premium, it will become increasingly difficult to maintain food production using traditional methods Utilize less water and space. With vertical farming techniques, farmers can use 98% less water and 99% less land. They can produce crop yields of 240 times that of traditional farms through year-round rolling or perpetual harvest, and all of our produce is powered by the sun rather than LED lights, so these crops are not reliant on fossil fuels or other less ideal energy sources. Increased production all year. Vertical farming also offers increased production overall and consistent year-round production. Gone are the days when some fruits and vegetables were only available seasonally. Instead, vertical farms can produce all sorts of crops year-round with little dependence on weather or climate. Eliminates environmental impacts. Indoor vertical farming can also significantly lessen the occupational hazards associated with traditional agriculture. Indoor agriculture does not allow access to wildlife, eliminating the conflict between farmers and native species. It doesn't expose farmers to hazards and diseases like malaria, poisonous chemicals, and other life-threatening challenges. And with no hazardous chemical runoff, farm-adjacent communities are also protected. Preparation for the future By 2050, Around 68% of the world population is expected to live in urban areas, and the growing population will lead to an increased demand for food. 
the efficient use of vertical farming may perhaps play a significant role in preparing for such a challenge. Increased and year-round crop production. Vertical farming allows us to produce more crops from the same square footage of the growing area. One acre of an indoor area offers equivalent production to at least 4-6 acres of outdoor capacity. Limitations of vertical farming. Vertical farming has both pros and cons. Sometimes the pros of vertical farming are highlighted and not the cons. Following are the major limitations of vertical farming. No established economics. The financial feasibility of this new farming method remains uncertain. The economic situation is changing, however, as the industry matures and technologies improve. For example, New Jersey-based indoor farming startup Bowery announced in December 2018 that it had raised $90 million in fresh funding. In 2017, Plenty, a West Coast vertical grower, announced a $200 million investment from SoftBank. Difficulties with pollination Vertical farming takes place in a controlled environment without the presence of insects. The pollination process needs to be done manually, which will be labor-intensive and costly. Labor costs. As high as energy costs are in vertical farming, labor costs can be even higher due to their concentration in urban centers where wages are higher and the need for more skilled labor. Automation in vertical farms, however, may lead to the need for fewer workers. Manual pollination may become one of the more labor-intensive functions in vertical farms. Too much dependency on technology. The development of better technologies can always increase efficiency and lessen costs. But the entire vertical farming is extremely dependent on various technologies for lighting, maintaining temperature, and humidity. However, it is worth noting that technologies developed for vertical farms are also being adopted by other segments of the indoor farming sector, such as greenhouses, which can utilize natural sunlight, albeit requiring much more real estate and longer routes to market. If you want to see more innovations in agriculture, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you in another video.